Bad Cree is about a Cree woman whose life begins to shift once this mm, separation between the dream world and the waking world starts to sever for her. And she begins being able to develop this ability to bring things back and forth from the dream world. And these dreams also don't really feel like dreams. They're very similar to real life memories um, that she has had uh, before the death of her sister. So she travels back to her homelands, uh, to her family who she has been separated from for a number of years to try and figure out what's going on. And she reconnects with her, specifically her mom and her aunties and her other sister and her cousin to try and piece together what's happening with her. And um, she starts to uncover and figure out a lot more than just these questions that come up from these dreams. The book is horror, it's speculative fiction, um, it's queer, it really celebrates Cree women, Cree Métis women and femmes and the relationships that they um, create with each other. This book began as a protest. This book started as an act of revenge. I wrote the short story that this book was, um, that this book expanded on um, in response to something that I heard um, in a creative writing class during my MFA program where a white professor gave the advice to his students to never write about your dreams. And I found this incredibly disturbing um, at the time because as a Cree person, I've always been taught that dreams are incredibly important. Um, dreams are how we communicate. Dreams can be how we produce knowledge, how we come to know things. Um, I've, I've, I've been taught that they're incredibly sacred. They're very important. And to hear from somebody in a, in a setting of um, this career path that I was hoping just as an emerging writer to, to go down, that we shouldn't be honoring them in this way by, by writing about them, by talking about them. I was angry. It made me, it, it really frustrated me. So I wrote the short story Bad Cree as a response to this um, because it's it's all about dreams. It's about the validity of, of knowledge, of feeling that comes from dreaming. And um, that's that was the impetus. That's what started it out. And as I continued writing it, I realized that I, I shifted my energy um, going into it um, because I wanted it to be, I didn't want it to center, you know, uh, a response to um, a non-Indigenous person. And instead, I just, I really wanted to, to honor these um, things that are really important, such as dreaming and um, relationships and kinship um, and love. And so when I started expanding it into a novel, my reasons for writing it became different, but um, it started as a, a response to wanting to um, really center my own knowledge about what dreams in storytelling can do. My advice for aspiring writers would be that not all advice is good advice. Um, there are many amazing writers in this world and a lot of them have a lot to say about writing and I think that it's valuable to listen to what folks have to say about what works for them and to try and apply that to what works for you to test out if that's what works for you but there's no right or wrong way to do this um, everyone has their own process. 
and finding out what's yours is one of the journeys. Um, so if something doesn't work for you, that doesn't mean that you're doing something wrong. Um, it could just mean that that's just not the technique or craft or, or um, schedule or process that is going to be yours. Um, so just keep searching for what feels good, what works for you, and um, listen to yourself. I think the three emojis that would best describe my book would be the ghost emoji, the two hearts emoji, the little heart and the bigger pink heart, and the three stars or the sparkle emoji um, because I believe that um, it's it's a it's a spooky you know horror novel it's also full of love and dreaming and the stars um, are also very prevalent I'm currently reading Buffalo is the New Buffalo by Chelsea Bowell. This collection of short stories is phenomenal. What Chelsea is doing in the realm of science fiction and speculative fiction and mystery and um, it is just phenomenal and I'm absolutely loving it. I'm about halfway through and I just finished reading The Low Low Woods by Carmen Maria Machado. Um, I'm really into the graphic, graphic novels right now, thinking about the graphic form, what that does, um, in literature and just the, the horror elements of this, um, so reminiscent of her other work as well. I absolutely love Carmen's work. So this was such an exciting read for me and I'm watching any trash reality television um, that I can get my hands on, that I can put on in the background while I'm beating or doing something sort of mindless, um, that is what I go to for consuming um, media.